Well, to me, it was always hand in hand. I mean, they put out a record and people would marvel at the music and, you know, love the songs, but they never connected until you see them on the stage. Uh, you know, when it's, in the 60s, you had album covers that were <laughs> your only way of knowing that we didn't have MTV, but is the bass player really blonde and good looking or is that girl in the band from Heart, is she really hot? You studied that album cover and the the sleeve had the lyrics and you could, that was your introduction and you had to go see the band, play live to see it all. Can they do this or is it just a studio record where they used a lot of sounds and overdubs but you can't create that sound live? So you had to go to the show to find out who were the real, you know, entertainers who could pull it all off, or was this more, you know, kind of done with all kinds of uh, sound uh, reverberation and, you know, organs and electronic stuff. Uh, so to me, it was always about the live event and connecting to the players. I mean... You know, it, it just brings it to life. It's like from animation to real life. Because uh, you kind of always have a mental picture of a song. And then when you see it, it it's probably changes. I mean, there are a lot of songs. Uh, uh, I remember uh, Kenny Loggins had a big hit, uh, Whenever I Call You Friend, that everybody assumed was about his girl. And it was about his father. And you didn't realize that until you saw it live. And said, he's not really... He's talking about his heartthrob. He's talking about a love that's beyond that. And I think that's true for most artists, that, you know, when they write from the heart, you see it when they're on stage because they feel it. They reproduce it, you know. Um, and to me, that was always the total picture and the true artist. And that's, I think, longevity because uh, you just, the the presence... You know, every girl thinks the lead singer is singing to them. When it's on record, you can't really do that. But when you actually see him sweating and you see him rip his shirt off and the antics of prancing up and down a stage or the guitarist, you know, taking that guitar and flinging back and running across the stage, you know, with ACDC doing their circle on the floor and when they're on their back playing guitar, you can't feel that on the record but you see it live and it just becomes bigger than life. And they become bigger than life. And so one day I want to do that. Or one day, uh, you know, uh, it, it creates, it takes the fantasy one step further. And I think that's always been true. I, I've always said that people always want to see an act live because it just adds a whole other dimension from the record. Sometimes the music is not quite as good. Sometimes the acoustics in the room might alter the sound, but it always is more fulfilling when you see them actually deliver it uh, to an audience because th there's an energy that's created in a building that kind of transcends the music and takes it to another level. And uh, I'm sure most people who are fans of music have gone to a show where they just they just got caught up in the crowd and the music and the event and the social thing and it just became something bigger than life it became bigger than the concert it was like a crowning event in their life where the lyrics suddenly jumped out and said yeah that's happened to me you know i think that's what we're all looking for is that the short answer is yes i still think this is important uh, in light of MTV, where, you know, for, we've now had MTV in our life for a good 20 years, and, you know, the videos got so expensive and so elaborate that it was better than it could ever happen live. So <laughs> there was a time and an expectation from videos that I think was disappointing when you went to see an act live. Um, you know, there, there was an artist, singer female performer who was a dancer who was kind of chunky and actually live did not move as gracefully as she did on film and video because they could make the shot every other frame and it made it look like she was just floating on, you know, like, boy, look at her jump. And <laughs> then you see a line went, oh. <laughs> so, uh, and, and 
obviously they can look better and every Body who lives on the road has nights or weeks where they're like broken out and uh, not getting enough sleep and they don't look as good. Um, so it, there can be negatives, but I, I always find that there's a real connection to an artist when you see him live that just can't happen from a, uh, a monotone, from a stereo record. I mean, it, it just completes the picture, and you feel, right or wrong, you feel that you're getting an insight into his artistry and his personality. Even if you're dead wrong, <laughs> most people leave there saying, now I understand what that song is, or now, you know, he's really a nicer person than I thought. <laughs>